hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Sims 4 Let's Play of Parenthood. I have Sims 4 City Living, Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, Sims 4 Gets to Work, and Sims 4 Parenthood, and also the Stuff Pack, which is Toddler Stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to be trying my best to only use face game and parenthood outfits. Because I know everybody, not everybody has the same games as I do. I'm going to name my mother Catherine. And I wanted to have a unique last name. So I named her Gia Vinci. And I'm not sure where I got the name from, but I like it. And I'm not going to mess around with her voice too much. I'm just going to leave that as it is, even though she does sound a little manly. Um, for her aspiration, I chose family. And for her traits, I chose her to be a genius because we want her to be smart. And hopefully her kids will be smart as her. And she's going to be neat because we need her to be very good at cleaning up after the kids. And she's going to be family-oriented because she loves her family. And that hat definitely has to go. Um, I don't know why she has a cowboy's hat on. Um, the hat's going to come off. And I am going to choose a Sims 4 base game um, hairstyle. I'm probably going to go with sleek back, curly, or, like, waves, or probably a bun. I think what I'm going to end up going with is probably going to be a straight sleek back hair, because this ponytail is not doing it for me. I kind of like the motherly look that's going on right now with this hairstyle, so I'm going to stick with this. For her eyes, I'm going to make them a bit smaller and change her eyelashes a bit. Her eyebrows are actually perfect the way they are, so I'm not going to mess with those. And for her nose, I'm going to change her nose up just a bit, make it more defined, make the bridge a little less big, I guess. And, um... We're going to give her freckles, and that's also in the base game. And for her makeup, we want to do something natural. Definitely not anything wild, nothing crazy. Um, so we're going to go with this like greenish, brownish colored makeup. It's very simple. And we're going to go with her cheeks. We want her to have... Um, just a, like a normal blush. We're going to leave her lipstick as it is. And she's not going to have any eyeliner. I'm going to change the way her jaw is just a little bit. And I'm going to make her eyes a bit different still. I'm just not quite happy with them. But I think I'll fix them. They look good now. Okay. So, for her outfit, for everyday wear, I'm going to have her wearing a coral shirt that is long sleeve off the shoulder. It's very modern, and it doesn't look too much like, hey, I'm a mom, I have two kids, they drive me crazy. And for her jeans, we're going to have her wear these skin tight jeans from City Living. Um, they're going to be, I'm just going to do black. And for her shoes, I'm going to have her wear probably either wedges or flats because she's going to be running around a lot with the kids. So we're going to go with these gray low, hot, like low heel wedges. And we're not going to give her any accessories. Because toddlers with accessories, we normally pull on them, so we're just going to leave accessories out. And then for formal wear, 
if anybody has watched Twilight and has seen all the way to Breaking Dawn Part 2, I love you. You're my favorite. And like and subscribe. And we can be the Twilight game. But there is a dress from the Sims 4 base game that looks similar to the dress that she wears in Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. And I'm going to choose that dress to be her formal wear. Same color, royal blue. And I'm going to give her blue heels so they can match. Still not going to give her any accessories. I'm not going to change her hair or her makeup. She looks just fine to me. Um, if you have any suggestions, I will take them and go from there. Um, for her athletic wear... I like what she's wearing. I'm going to go with the green theme. And I'm going to change her shirt just to a regular tank top. Not a, like, punk rock t-shirt, I guess. I don't know what that is. If y'all know what symbol that is, please tell me. Thank you. Um, we're just going to change it to green. I'm keeping her shoes together um, how they are because they're already green. And for her sleepwear, we're going to do a white long sleeve shirt black shorts, and her bunny ear slippers, doesn't get much uh, more motherly than that, and her, for her party wear, I am going to, I originally thought of choosing this blue blouse, but then I chose a different shirt, because I didn't quite like it, like the way it was on her, so I chose this uh, city living brown blouse like halter top thing and I'm gonna go with a skirt I originally thought of a skirt from City Living and then I changed my mind to a uh, cats and dogs skirt but then again I didn't like it because I couldn't change that I couldn't choose my mind and I chose a some short base game black pencil skirt to go with it and once again no accessories and I'm going to go straight to the shoes. I chose, I believe, black flats. And definitely take the hat off because it's not Freddy Krueger Day. Like, the, the hat's got to go. I don't know why Sims 4 thought of that. It's not cute. Um, and for her swimwear, I'm going to give her this, like, kind of, I think it's straw. I think it's straw. Some type of very cute um, hat, kind of like a church hat, <laughs> um, and I'm going to give her a one-piece swim um, swimsuit, I'm going to make it white and blue, I just love the colors, I love the feathers on it, and yeah, um, I'm g I definitely want her to have blue eyes, um, that way her kids can have blue eyes. I just like the look of blue eyes with brown hair. And we're going to play with genetics and make her first son. Um, he's going to be a toddler. And I want to have two boys. I think they're going to be twins. And um, his name will probably be Brayden. And I'm going to go with, like, a chubby-cheeked little kid. Because who doesn't love chubby cheeks? Chubby cheeks are amazing. Um, we're going to go with this kid right here. This is Tomble. And we're going to name him Braylon. I don't know where I got these names from, honestly, but I like them a lot. Um, so this is Braylon. He's going to be a charmer. And we're going to change his hair a little bit. Um, his hair's definitely got to be brown because his mom's hair is brown. Um, so he's going to have brown hair. And then I want him to have a simple short haircut. And his eyebrows are a little off. They look like squiggly lines. So we're going to change that just a bit. 
Um, Sims 4 doesn't have a lot of options with toddler outfits. Just a heads up. But we're going to do our best with what we have. Um, I like how handsome he is right now. He's very cute and tiny. Um, we're going to do like straight eyebrows. I definitely stick with straight eyebrows. And I, just, I like the way he, like, he, he looks right now. So we're going to stick with that. And then for everyday wear, I'm going to go with a orange and white shirt to match his shoes. And we're going to keep the pants that he already has. They're short, two flat shorts. And we're going to go to formal wear. And for formal wear, he's going to wear a black shirt with the same jeans and the black shoes that he already has on. For sleepwear, I think I chose a matching pajama set. I think I chose blue. Either blue or green. I chose blue. So, we're going to do the matching pajama set. Um, the blue, the like, blue fishies, I believe. It's really cute. Um, and then we're going to go to party wear. And for party wear, uh, we're going to do these great jeans with, I believe, this brown shirt. We're going to change the shirt that he has on now to not even the brown shirt. Actually, no. He's going to have this blue jacket, well, black jacket with blue shirt and a scarf and black shoes. Yeah. And then we're going to play with genetics again and get, make his twin brother. We want them to look similar, but not too similar. I think they're going to have different hairstyles so you can tell the difference. We definitely want him to be a twin brother, not a twin sister. Um, and we're going to name him Cory. So we Cory Giovinci and Brayden Giovinci. And for his trait, he's going to be wild. Definitely need a wild one with the charmer. Very two opposite traits. And we're going to change his hair. We're going to give him long hair. Unlike his twin brother. So we're going to give him long hair. And his eyebrows look pretty good the way they are. And we're going to go ahead onto every day where... Um, I like the yellow on him. So, what I'm going to do is do the, I want to do yellow on yellow with his blue and yellow shoes. So, I think I'm going to get this avocado shirt and change it to a yellow avocado shirt. That way he's, like, color and matching. And then, for formal wear, he's going to wear a black collared shirt with gray jeans and gray shoes. For his sleepwear, he's going to wear, once again, the matching set. I think we're going to do cars instead of fish this time. So we need blue cars with the matching pajama pants. And those are also blue with, with cars on them. I think the set, pajama sets are very cute. Sims 4 did a good job with that. And we're going to go to party wear. And we're going to get these, these camo jeans and change them to just a khaki colored jean. And we're not going to give him the same shirt as his brother. So we're going to change the shirt. To probably a brown shirt. I think we're gonna go with a brown shirt. Yeah. So we're gonna go with a brown shirt. 
Um. So it's not on everybody's creative sim. And we're going to need a black shoe to go with it. And I think that's it. So for this um, portrait, I'm just going to choose the first thing that comes up. Uh, please like and subscribe for my video and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want more, please add a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.